didn't take long. I'm literally, I could walk over to the ramp right now. First pass. And I did bring my scale today. We got a... All right, what's going on YouTube? Erica Lynn here, welcome back to another video. We're trying out a brand new lake today. I've actually never been fishing here before. So, um, a second cast in, already caught a fish, so I'll go ahead and let him go. So it looks like we got a ton of lilies in this lake. Um, we got some shallow, deeper areas looking at a map. So I'm pretty excited to check this out. You guys get to come with me today. So 1.2 to start off the day. I'm gonna keep a list of all of my bass weights on here so I can remember how many we caught. <laughs> it's gonna be a freaking epic day. Two more casts in. Another nice one, a little bigger. Let's go ahead and get a weight on this one. Uh, one pounder. It wasn't tarred before, so I'll say that. <laughs> I'll say that previous bass was like a half a pound. I was gonna say it was like 1.2. I was already saying 0.6 on here. All right, so this was technically 0.9. So we're gonna adjust the first bass. And get these numbers right. I was gonna say that first bass was pretty small. Starting off small, but hey, I literally just started like five minutes ago when I already had a little bass, so. Number three, smoke that. They're slowly getting bigger, so that's a good sign. We got 1.4, very nice. We're going back. <laughs> These gambler paddle tails are one of my favorite things to throw for bass. It's usually my go-to. It's so versatile, like right now I'm using it through the lilies. I have it rig rigged weedless. So it usually doesn't get caught on much. I was like, just get stuck on something. Just waiting for something to be sitting underneath them. Oh, oh I just had like a little bit of it. Second time. Yes, number four. Point eight. <laughs> if I was in a tournament, I'd be throwing most of these back. All right, point eight on number four. The one other thing with these gambler paddle tails is they're so hardy. Like, it's still pretty good. I'll go ahead and keep throwing it before I have to switch to a new soft plastic. little but we'll still get a measurement on him. A half pounder. <laughs> a little guy. I'll go ahead and get him back in the water. And add him to our list. 0.5. Perfect. Good job team. I'd say Starvation Lake is uh, pretty productive kind of excited to come back here at some point. This is, like I said, my first time here. Time to retire the soft plastic. Right, so again, I'm using Gambler's Paddle Tails. This is the Florida 5.0 color. Um, it's like green with some red sparkly flakes in it. And again, this is always my go-to for bass. It's a perfect search bait because you can cover so much ground with it pretty quickly. It was supposed to be blown like 10 to 15 today, so I didn't really want to go out in the bay. getting blown around on this lake. 
like in bed. There's really is some great depth though. It's probably, I mean, I can see bottom like two, three feet, maybe three, four. Uh, some pretty good logs, some structure in here. So, I mean, great bass conditions. And there is a miner this morning, first thing. So I wasn't super surprised. We got a couple bites right off the bat. I'm hoping that bite will continue and it doesn't slow down for us. But what I do have going for me is the lake park is actually on the quieter side. I was the only boat dropping in this morning, so I doubt these fish are super pressured. Um, well, I haven't seen a lure in a little while, so hopefully that uh, helps, our, helps our average today. It came up after, I wasn't ready for that. Another one, number seven. I'd stopped the lure for a second to like adjust the trolling motor and he came over and crushed it. it is 0.8. Nice little guy. Oh, lost them at the boat. <laughs> oh, he's in the lilies. Got him, <laughs> he's so little. <laughs> Another one. They've been consistently all up in these lilies. All right, well, let's see. I'm gonna go with like a one <laughs> or if that. All right, we got a, not even close, 0. 0.7, going back. Not paying attention, so the bass comes over and crushes it. So using my eye bobber scale here, we are zeroed out. So let's go ahead and see what we got. We got a, a 0.9. They all like are just under a pound, which is kind of funny. Good thing I'm not in like a tournament right now. Cause I think I'd only have like two or three fish even in my bag. So 0.9, going back. Whoa. Dude, there had to have been like another bass like right here. I just spooked him. So we got 0 0.9, 0 0.6, 1.2, 0 0 0.8, 0.5, 1.1, 0.8, 0.7, 0 0.9. So only two bass so far that have been over a pound. Where are the big bass at? Oh, it's got me in the lilies. Oh. Still got him. I thought I lost him. We got a 0.8. Not quite a one pounder, but another nice one in the lilies. Going back. <laughs> Got him. Yes, I knew there was one in there. I think this is gonna wrap up today's fishing. Let's go ahead and get one last final weight. A one, 1 1.2. Thanks for playing, little guy. 
Check that out, guys. Nice little bass today. It is sunny, it is hot, and it is windy. And we caught one, two, three, four, nine, ten. I got 11 bass today? Double digits. Well, that's awesome. I'll have to count those all up later. I can't really see my phone very well. Let's start uh, heading back to the ramp. All right, just got home and my other boat is back from the shop. We had some really sick Roswell speakers put in. Um, these guys up front are actually weren't, we didn't have speakers there before. So um, thank you West Coast Marine for hooking it up and doing a little bit of electrical work for me. Super excited about these because they actually light up. Great sound. Let's go ahead and get the boat turned on and do a little demo. Yes, sounds so good. Just turn the batteries on. Turn that down for a second. Otherwise, YouTube's gonna flag me for having copyrighted songs in here. So, had a brand new head unit put in also. Roswell hooked it up with that. All the speakers are also connected to this little remote. We have some different modes of color changing options. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are ever interested in a marine audio package, definitely reach out to Roswell. I'll include their information below. Um, I also have some exciting news about the skiff that you guys just saw me fishing on. Um, we're going to make some big announcements, so make sure you're following me on Instagram at Erica underscore Lynn period two. There's going to be some big stuff happening, so you guys don't want to miss it. If you do like the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.